In a previous video, we talked about the electron configuration of helium. We figured out that it is 1s2. Remember, electrons are not dots, arrows, or particles. This is just an accounting method. What's the electron configuration of lithium? We know that electrons will be the lowest possible energy, so that's why the first two are n equals 1 electrons. But what about the third? It can't be a 1s electron since that would violate the Pauli exclusion principle. We can't have two electrons with the same four quantum numbers. So that means it needs to be n equals 2. But what type of n equals 2 electron? 2s or 2p? Up until now, we've said that 2s and 2p are the same energy because they're both n equals 2. But that's only true of single electron atoms like the hydrogen atom, where the only interaction is between a single electron wave and the nucleus. Lithium has many electrons, so we need to dig a little deeper. Imagine you're walking with your friend on a really windy day, and it's so windy that you decide to walk behind your friend. Your friend feels the full strength of the wind, but you feel it a little less because your friend is blocking some of it from hitting you. It's similar for electron waves. You and your friend are different energy electron waves, and the wind is the attractive nuclear force. This is called the shielding effect, and it describes the decrease in attraction between an electron and the nucleus in any atom with more than one electron. Electrons with lower values of n will shield the electrons with higher values of n. The more electrons that there are, the greater the shielding effect experienced by the other electrons. There is a bit more to it when it comes to electron waves though, which we can visualize by drawing the waves. This is a 1s electron and this is a 2s electron. Notice that the 1s wave has one loop, because n equals 1, and the 2s wave has two loops, because n equals 2. It has a larger outer loop and a smaller inner loop. When we draw the waves on top of each other, we see that one of the 2s loops and the entire 1s loop overlap. So if these two loops are in the same location relative to the nucleus, which is where the y-axis of our graph is, how does the nuclear attraction of the 1s loop compare to the nuclear attraction felt by the inner 2s loop? The inner 2s loop and the 1s loop both feel the same magnitude of attractive force from the nucleus because they're in the same location. The outer 2s loop, however, is behind the 1s electron wave. Compared to the 1s electron wave, how much of the nuclear attractive force would you predict that the outer 2s loop feels? The 1s loop is between the nucleus and the outer 2s loop. Electronic repulsion from this 1s wave means that the outer loop of 2s does not feel the complete attractive force of the nucleus. Because of this, we say that the 2s electron wave is shielded by the 1s electron. It will not experience the full nuclear charge. Now let's take a look at the 2p electron wave. It has one radial loop and one nodal plane, so it looks like this. When we put the 1s and 2p electron waves on top of each other, it looks like this. Notice that the 2p electron wave only has the one loop, and it's behind the 1s electron wave. There is no part of the 2p electron wave that experiences the full nuclear charge because it is fully shielded by the 1s electron wave. So which electron wave feels more of the attractive force of the nucleus, 2p or 2s? The 2s wave is only partially shielded by the 1s electron wave, but the 2p wave is fully shielded by the 1s electron wave. This means that the 2s wave feels more of the attractive force of the nucleus than the 2p wave does. So now let's go back to our original question. Which electron wave is higher in energy, 2s or 2p? When we say that an electron is higher in energy, we mean that it is easier to ionize because it feels a smaller force of attraction towards the nucleus. We just said that the 2p wave is more shielded by the 1s electron wave than the 2s wave is, so the 2p wave feels less of the attractive force of the nucleus. Because it feels less of the attraction to the nucleus, it is easier to ionize and so it's higher in energy. So lithium's electron configuration is 1s2, 2s1.